how to install four-way ceiling cassettes. We just finished installing some four-way ceiling cassettes in these office buildings here. Today, I'm gonna to show you the install and talk about things to know when you're installing a four-way ceiling cassettes. Talk about the features, benefits, accessories, and what to know when you're installing so that you know what you can and cannot do. You're watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners slash Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. I'm gonna show you the office spaces and show you the equipment. So this is one office space and this is another office space. And these are called mini four-way ceiling cassettes and they fit in a drop ceiling where a tile would go. So the dimensions on the chassis or the body of this mini four-way cassette is about 24 by 24. So it sits right in the drop ceiling. So that's really nice for this application because it doesn't take up a lot of space. These mini four-way ceiling cassettes can have a wireless remote controller or you can put in a wired controller. And we've got a wired controller for each space that will control each individual mini four-way ceiling cassette. I'm gonna show you the outdoor unit now. Here's the outdoor unit. And both line sets, the copper piping and the wiring come from each indoor four-way ceiling cassette and they come to the outdoor unit. The outdoor unit powers the indoor units. We've got our disconnect here and then the unit is sitting on a mounting bracket. So you can see it's mounted on the wall. One other thing is you've got to have drains that come from each four-way ceiling cassette and those drains terminate right here in this big drain pipe. If you can see that drain pipe there. So we've got two three-quarter inch drains. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about. This model number is a two-ton. So this is a two-ton outdoor unit. For this Samsung two-ton 24,000 BTU outdoor unit, we can connect one more mini four-way ceiling cassette because we have three pipes, right? We have a three vapor line connections and three liquid line connections, and we're not using two of those connections. So we can connect another indoor unit. Samsung also makes a three-ton multi-zone free joint multi outdoor unit where you can connect up to four indoor units. And they also make a four-ton outdoor unit that has five pipe connections. So we can connect up to five mini four-way ceiling cassettes to their four-ton outdoor unit. Now let's go above the drop ceiling and take a look at the actual chassis or the body of the four-way ceiling cassette. Let's talk about how we should mount that ceiling cassette, how much room you should have above it, and let's talk about the built-in pump. This right here is a knockout for fresh air. So if you wanna have fresh air coming into your building, you need a certain amount of fresh air. This is a good way to introduce fresh air and you need a booster fan to do that. So this is what this knockout is for on the cassette. The most important tip you need to know for installing four-way ceiling cassettes is you have to have access above the ceiling to be able to get to the copper connections. If you have to replace an indoor coil for these types of four-way ceiling cassettes, you have to be able to take those connections, those flare connections loose. That way you can get the copper that's connected to the coil through the body or the chassis to be able to take the coil out uh, through the middle of the cassette or through the bottom. Let me show you. So if I was to take the coil inside out, to be able to get it out, I would have to be able to reach these connections. And if you wanna learn more about replacing a coil, I think I've got a video on how to take apart this cassette and actually replace a coil. So I'll put that down in the link in the description, but you've got to be able to access this because once you take these flare connections loose, you pull that coil out through the bottom here and you would need to take that copper that connects right here and pull it through the bottom like this. And then when you take and put the new coil in, you would have new connections for your liquid and your vapor line. All right, above the drop ceiling, here is the ceiling cassette. We've got four brackets, and you can see we've got a bolt, a washer, we've got all thread, and then we've got unistrut above the joist. Now, the body of this cassette is 10 inches high. We're gonna talk about how much room you need above. We've got 
our two copper lines here, our liquid line, our vapor line. We've got our power wire that comes from the outdoor unit. And then we've got our communication cables. We've got one communication cable that goes to our wire controller. You don't have to have this cable if you have a wireless remote controller. Then we've got another communication cable right here. And this comes from our F1 and F2 at our outdoor unit. Now we can look back this way and see our drain. You see the drain? The drain comes out of that cassette over here. Let's talk about height. So let me get my tape measure here. Height, 10 inches. You see that? So you want to mount this unit flush with the ceiling. Then all you see below the ceiling is a fascia panel. That fascia panel has four veins. And you can change the direction of those veins or the angle, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You got the return right here. So you've got these tabs. You can pull these tabs, drop this down. This is a permanent washable filter. So you can wash that filter. Then you've got your fan here. And this right here, this styrofoam, this is your pan. So this pan holds water. And you wanna make sure this is level. It can't be at an angle. If it's at an angle, the water can spill out of the pan. So, and that's why we've got a built-in pump. Now, let's talk about that drain and let's talk about how much room you need above this unit. So, I like to say that you need at least eight inches above this unit. So, 18 inches would be nice. It looks like to the joist up here, to the very bottom, we've got about 21 inches, which is really nice. Now, why do you need that? Because Depending on how long your building is will depend on how much fall you need, how long your drain pipe is going to be to the exterior, unless you can use the building's drain. But with this built-in pump right here, you can actually run that drain up, over, and then back down to get some more fall. It's got a 29-inch lift. We don't have a lot of room. We've got that nice foam insulation, too. I love foam insulation. So, but this is above that ceiling cassette. And you can see we had to cut, frame out that joist a little bit there. There has to be room above that ceiling cassette for your drain, and that ceiling cassette has to be mounted level. Now I'm gonna show you the movement of the veins and this wired controller. Now let's check out this wired controller. This thing is sweet. So we can choose between cool, dry, fan, heat or auto. I like the auto feature because you can actually adjust both temperatures, heat and cooling. Once you pick what you want, you push the OK button. Then if we want to just do cooling, push OK. Go over to our fan speed. We can choose between low, medium or high. I'm going to choose high or auto, which is nice. Then we can fix the blade, right? We can fix all those veins to where they don't move or we can take and we can choose each individual blade whether or not to have it swing on or off or we can go over to where you choose all of them to swing now Let's say you want the air to blow wide, like right there. Go back over here, okay, fix. Now, it won't move, it'll stay right there. So you can choose if you want it to throw it out wide or mid or somewhat straight down, and that's really nice. So I really like these wired controllers. Now let's talk about wind free. So I'm sure you've noticed these little micro holes that are on each one of the veins of this wind free cassette. Why are those holes there? Whenever we set our thermostat and our room temperature reaches the set point, the fascia panel veins close and the air is dispersed through those micro holes. This eliminates cold drafts and the dispersion of that air through those micro holes in the fascia panel of the wind-free four-way cassette is defined as still air. 
The fascia panel for the Winfrey model four-way ceiling cassette also has a humidity sensor so that it restricts the operation of the wind-free mode in high humidity conditions where we can create condensation. These wind-free model four-way ceiling cassettes are great for office spaces, so we don't have those cold drafts. The power for this system is 230 volt, and this is the breaker size. It's a 25 amp double pole breaker. Let's talk about four-way ceiling cassette sizes. So at samsunghvac.com, you can download some middles you can look at the different sizes, the different types of indoor units. For the mini four-way ceiling cassettes that will fit in a drop ceiling, you can get those 9,000 BTU, uh, one ton, 12,000 BTU, or one and a half ton, 18,000 BTU. And those mini four-way cassettes will fit in a drop ceiling where a tile would go. Then you've got your larger sizes, and those are your four-way ceiling cassettes, and those come in sizes from two ton or 24,000 BTU, all the way up to four ton or 48,000 BTU. So if you have a larger area, maybe it's light commercial application, then you may need a larger ceiling cassette. These four-way ceiling cassettes need maintenance. And if you don't know how to clean a four-way ceiling cassette, I'm gonna put a link down below to a video that shows you how to clean a four-way ceiling cassette. I've also got a video on how to get to the pump because sometimes you have to take the pump apart and clean that pump. So check out those videos if you want to learn more. If you need help with sizing for your mini split project, say you're building a new construction house, I can help you with the layout and design, the load calculation. I can actually send you the mini split that you may need through my distributor. So just reach out to me. If you're a member and you don't have my mini split sizing guide, definitely reach out to me. You should have my email. If you don't and you're a member, just comment below and say, hey, can I get your email and I'll send you my mini split sizing guide. I've also got a video on my playlist titled HVAC training courses or training videos, and it is a mini split sizing basics video. So if you're wanting to learn more about mini split sizing and the theory behind it for a standard insulated home to a foam insulated home, I've got a video on that, so definitely go check that out. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.